What's up guys, Shuri here, and today I got some gameplay from Tuzak for you. And I'm gonna explain exactly why Tuzak is one of the best players in the world. And I have a four part reasoning behind this. This is one of the parts. If you want the other three, get them to a thousand subscribers and I will release the full video telling you exactly why he's so much better than other top players. But as you can see, he's playing the pretty standard way on this hill of barely poking your head out and then just hitting him as soon as you can. But the hill's about to move and he has low health and he only has armor kits, which coincidentally is the only time he pokes out fully and then he distracts them, lets them kill him, and then he ends up getting stem guns. And I think this was on purpose. Then he shows them that, hey, I'm a wasp noob, acting like he made a mistake and backing up. They chase him like he has no armor. He just pulls out a shotgun and embarrasses the guy. And then he takes his stem guns off as if this was something he planned the whole time. And I'm going to just go over what I see here. And then I'm going to show you in full detail exactly the minor things and slow things down after. So I'm just going to let it run normally. And then I'll show you in more detail after because that way you get to experience everything at its natural speed, which is just a lot better. But you also get to see all the details, so maybe you can add some of Tuzak's plans to yours too. Because it is kind of crazy that he counters almost every single choice these guys make. And part of it is having the wasp with his Orion and Icebreaker, because it is basically a scout. The wasp isn't super good on its own as far as getting kills, not very many kills in a row at least, because you need to be up close for the wasp to be super effective, and he doesn't want them to get very close, so it's mostly just speed boost for him. But it's working out super well, and literally no matter what way these guys go, or what choice they make, he outplays them, and it all works out. But how is Tuzak able to survive everything they choose to do to him? And the reason is he tricked them into making every single choice they made. So we're going to go over that unstoppable again. And I'm going to show you some things you might have missed. First, he throws that grenade and then goes into that room. So he can check on the red dots and see where the rest of that guy's teammates were going. And then he came out as the grenade blew up to be able to shotgun him. And he's gonna push up and be overly aggressive here. The reason for this is he actually has two teammates that are coming behind them to flank them and he needs to distract them so his teammates can actually get back there and end up getting these kills. And this is what I mean by he tricked them into doing everything they chose to do. And there is a hiccup in the plan. He gets rocketed almost dying but what he does is so brilliant he hits his eye and immediately flicks to the right to see if there's anyone there and then he has a guy on the left a guy in the alley and a guy up top knowing where his teammates are he comes over here knowing that no one on the right can hurt him so it is gonna need to be his responsibility to watch the front door he sees a guy that's trying to snipe with Scorpion, and he uses that to his advantage to get a nice peek shot. The guy with the Scorpion thought he was going to peek Tuzak, but Tuzak tricked him into getting wall strafed. I literally swear, every choice they made, he tricked them into making. Whether it was to get the enemy to chase him into an alley where there's three guys waiting for him, or if it's just for him to be rushing in there while his teammate comes up behind them. Or any of the amazing things he did during these clips. It was all pretty crazy and not the norm for like top players. I mean, it really is something special. And this is only one of the four things that I have found about Tuzak. That really is just something that sets him apart. And it's also things that are replicatable. So... I figured I'd let everyone know. But again, this is the first part of a four-part series. So make sure you go subscribe, get him to that 1K, and then 
I'll have the other three parts for you. And then you guys will also know what makes Tuzak the best player in the game. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video, and I hope you have a great day. Hey, hey, seriously, go subscribe to Tuzak, man. What, what are you still doing here?